Uh, this is Shoot Steel for RobinHoodsPlayground.com uh, and RobinHoodsPlayground.org. We're going to be flashing a 79 FL Hitachi Drive. I want to talk about the Jungle Flasher 1.66, or any Jungle Flasher for that matter. You'll notice whenever you download it, there'll, come, there'll be a folder in there that says Firmware. And if you open it up, there's a little text document there that says Place Firmware here. It means exactly that. Place copies of your original firmwares and your uh, iExtreme firmwares here, as you can see, that I already have them preloaded. That's how Jungle Flasher is going to find your the files necessary to do the flashing. So uh, here we are. Now, next thing we're going to do on an Itachi, I'm going to cut the uh, power on. I'm going to eject the tray three times prior to starting jungle flasher. Then I'm going to take my 79, 79 unlock uh, uh, CDR and just drop it in the tray. I'm going to go back to jungle flasher and I'm going to cut it on. So when I make, when I go to the uh, GDR tab uh, located here at the far right, it should already acknowledge that there's a 79 uh, hooked up. So I'm going to go ahead and send mode B and it says uh, that after you uh, should respond to normal uh, inquiry and close, wait 15 seconds of Windows to recognize the drive. It's important to confirm mode B with the double press to open and close drive tray. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's now sucked the, uh, the drive closed and there's no entire drives are found. That's normal. You just, I'm going to go ahead and eject the tray again. Send mode B. It sucked it closed. And now we see on drive F, don't worry about this audio CD, it's in there. It canceled. See drive F, Hitachi found. They, uh, that's good. That's what we want. So then I hit the 79 unlock, playing it, it's ejecting it. Now I put the, the uh, disc out, and now you see there's options here. The drive uh, will be shown right there uh, as a 79. RAM upload, there is no options uh, for the 79, it has to be RAM upload. I'm going to go ahead and dump the drive, and I'm going to save it in my Robin Hood's Playground video folder. Got a good key right there. And now all I'm going to do is go to Flash I Extreme. And I'm going to save that again. And as you can see that uh, that when I did that, I'll show you here in a second, Firmware Tool actually did all this for me all automatically. I didn't have to touch, you know, open the target form or, or nothing. Okay? It's just flash complete. You're done. Thank you for watching the video. Robinhoodsplayground.com